muscles that nobody is talking about that can earn over a thousand dollars a day with basically no skill requirements. Some of them can even be done together. I'm gonna give you a breakdown of what they are and how you can get started. All you have to do is choose one or more of these ideas and get to it. Number one actually is being talked about by a couple of people, but it's worth repeating because it's already made quite a few new millionaires. It's pressure washing businesses. The one that's really taking off right now is trash can cleaning services, which makes sense. Nobody wants to clean their trash cans. They get filled with gunk, bugs, mold, and that wonderful putrid smell you get when you open up the lid. But the beauty of this business is you have the tools required to offer a whole suite of services. You can offer trash can sanitizing and pressure washing sidewalks and driveways, touchless car washes, soffit cleaning, and more. So let's turn this into a top tier business where you can make over $500 from just one service call in a couple of hours. You should always start by advertising your new business. Of course, you'll be starting by posting on your personal social media pages, buy, sell, trade, and recommendation groups, and any other marketplace where you can advertise for free. But you should also make some door hangers. Getting them from Vistaprint will do the job and you can get a professional design done for you on Fiverr for just $10. Then you can order a thousand of them for around $120. Now, on the front side of that door hanger, I would advertise whatever part of your business has the least amount of competition in your area, so do a little bit of research first. Then mention that full service packages and a la carte options are available on the bottom, and on the back, list the full range of services that you'll offer with your business. There's a good chance, since this business idea is relatively new, that trash can sanitizing may be underserved in your area. So now we need to get the tools for this business. I found a 3000 PSI pressure washer, which is the recommended pressure for cleaning concrete, for just $120 on Amazon. So we've got our advertising and pressure washer. Let's add up our cost of doing business so far. Flyers, $130. Pressure washer, $120. Cleaning supplies needed, $50. All in total to start a brand new pressure washing business, $300. <laughs> You're gonna make that back in less than half a day. Time to start going around and hanging every single one of those flyers in the highest income neighborhoods you can find. These are the places you wanna advertise businesses that focus on outsourcing chores and dirty work. The people who live here tend to be busy with work and will value the time they get back by paying you to do those chores and dirty work more than the money it costs them. Many of these people don't want to spray their dirty trash cans when they come home from work or clean their driveway, but they also don't like the look that it creates on their property by not having those things cleaned. I would even consider offering a first-time discount just so I could get out there and start cleaning some cans. Neighborhoods like this tend to notice things, so if one neighbor sees another getting their trash cans professionally cleaned, leaving them sparkling and fresh, you will likely have other neighbors give you a call to inquire once they see your door hanger. This is where you start selling add-ons and subscriptions. With businesses like this, I always recommend taking a picture of the job after completion and sending it to your customers. Not only is this a nice touch for your customer service, but it also opens the door for some free additional advertising. Send them a picture showing how sparkly and clean their trash can is, thank them for their business, and then quickly add in something like this. Here are your freshly cleaned cans. Thank you for your business. Should you be interested, I also offer add-on services and bundles at discounted rates for things like soffit cleaning, driveways, walkways, touchless car washes, and more. If you ever need any of these, please Please let me know, I'd be happy to help. If you're doing a great job, advertising additional services like this is often welcomed by happy customers. So let's say you have someone sign up for the whole package deal. You show up, spray some touchless car cleaner on their car and let it sit while you go spray some disinfectant and cleaning solutions into their trash can. Then go rinse off and dry the car. Car wash done. $30. Now head over and finish cleaning up the trash cans to get them disinfected and sparkling 
clean. Trash can cleaning, $65. Total build, $95 so far in 20 minutes. Now head over and start cleaning the soffits. This will probably take you around three hours and is usually a $500 or so service. So we're at $595 in just three hours and 20 minutes of work and you've already made your money back and almost doubled it. Now you hit the driveway for two hours and charge another $300 and you're at $895 for five hours and 20 minutes of work. If you did that five days a week, you would make $17,900 a month for 26 hours of work per week. Amen. Throw another couple trash cans in there and you'll easily clear over a thousand dollars for a day using a set of tools that cost you a hundred and seventy dollars. Now obviously every house isn't going to sign up for a full range of services but we can see how even just a couple of houses signing up for these services can start making some serious cash. Let's go one step further. Offer a monthly auto pay subscription for a 5% discount and now you've got reliable income and jobs coming in every month. Side hustle number two. This is not going to be what you think when you first hear this, so listen to the end, but it is print on demand Shopify stores. This side hustle requires a little bit more upfront work, but it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. You do this by setting up a Shopify store and adding on one of their print on demand apps like Printify or Printful. You set up what products you want to sell on your store like stickers, paintings, vinyls, and more and upload them to your Shopify store. I recommend playing around with these features and getting very comfortable with them. I'll explain why in a moment and then you'll see why I told you this is not what you think. If you don't consider yourself artistic and can't come up with designs to put on these items to sell yourself, that's okay. We have a couple of solutions. You can hire freelance artists on Upwork or Fiverr, just make sure you get the rights to the design. You can partner with local artists and split the profits with them for anything that you sell using their artwork. This split is up for negotiation, but I always recommend recommend being generous in your deals. Being generous leads to a great business reputation and makes people want to work with you time and time again. Or go simple. Motivational and wholesome quotes, inspirational imagery, and pop culture are always in style. There are literally a million options you can come up with from these that are all public domain. Sites like unsplash.com have tons of images that you can use as backgrounds for your quotes totally free. Use filters and alteration apps so that you can alter these images and have tons of different versions of the same picture. You get the idea. Once you've got everything loaded up and ready on your store, you're ready to start using the real money maker on Shopify I'm talking about. Charging money to set up Shopify stores for other people who want to sell. Head back over to sites like Fiverr and Upwork and set up a profile for yourself, offering the service of setting up ready to sell Shopify stores for other people in exchange for money. Since you've got the hang of setting up and selling on your own store with Shopify, you've got a great new marketable skill that you can use to help other people and they will pay a pretty penny for this service. Many people are already charging between $3,500 and $5,000 to set up ready to sell Shopify stores for other people. Once you get really good at this and have systems in place, you can knock out a fully functional, ready to sell store for people in as little as a couple of days. If you like any of these side hustles and business recommendations so far, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Side hustle number three, professional organizing. If you're really good at organizing, maximizing space efficiency, and creating good looking setups and systems for things like garages, closets, living rooms, and more, then professional organizing could be a great side hustle for you. According to Forbes, the going rate for professional organizers is up to $130 per hour. But that's just if you're coming in and organizing things using the materials they already have. What I would do is create a list of great space saving and organization tools that I could sell to my customers alongside my services. This could be anything from specialty shelves to benches with shoe racks on the inside. Use your own home as an opportunity to advertise yourself. Do before and after pictures of rooms that usually need organizing, like closets, and show a variety of arrangements so people can see different approaches. Again, this is a 
a business I would advertise in a high-income neighborhood, as those people are busy but love to be organized and are frequently happy to pay to outsource those chores. Side hustle number four, in-home cleaning services. Just like the above side hustle, if you excel at cleaning your own home, this could be an excellent opportunity for you. Professional cleaning services are being used more and more by everyday people and businesses. It isn't glamorous, but it can make a very powerful business model. And if you're looking for something for a side hustle that you can dive right into, it doesn't get much easier than cleaning. These days in my area, the hourly rates for professional cleaning are up to $50 or even more. This is also another business that you can offer a monthly auto pay for and create reliable jobs and income every month. Finally, side hustle number five, and the most simple on this list, one-time income events. A one-time income event is exactly what it sounds like. It's something that you make some money from one time and then it's done. I'll use my favorite story to paint the picture. I do stuff like this all the time. A few months back or so, I found an elliptical for free. I brought it home and tested it out and it wouldn't turn on. So I took a power cord from another appliance in my home and plugged it in to see if maybe the cord was just bad. Lo and behold, the cord was bad. I bought a new one on Amazon for $7.00 cleaned up that elliptical, and sold it for $300 in the matter of a couple of days, and it only took me 10 to 15 minutes to find the cord, buy it, put it in, and clean it up. That's a $297 profit for about 15 to 20 minutes of work. Now, this isn't something you rely on for an income, nor do you go out driving down the road looking for stuff to sell all day, but when an opportunity comes along like this, you can make a lot of cash for little to no effort. The key is keep your eyes peeled for large, high ticket items like workout equipment, furniture, and more. Frequently, people just don't want to or don't know how to schedule large pickup or having to deal with getting it off of their property. So they put it down at the road, slap a free sign on there, and it could be perfectly good, still functioning, they just don't want it or need it anymore. And now, you get to make money from it. Once more, this is something that you will see happen very frequently in high-income neighborhoods. Sometimes, they get an upgraded elliptical with the newest spells and whistles on it, and they just don't want the old one anymore. They don't want to take the time to sell it, so they put it down at the road. I always like to recommend this because if you can just get past the whole trash picking mentality, you can find some real treasure out there. I've got an $800 stationary bike, that's why I didn't keep the elliptical, that I got for free doing this exact same thing. Let's go one step further. If you set up one of these side hustles in a high income neighborhood like we've been talking about in this video, you can also let your clients know that if they ever need to get rid of large items, you're happy to do free haul away. And when they call or they send you a picture of what they're trying to get rid of, if you want it, go grab it. If not, just tell them unfortunately right now your schedule is too busy to come grab that and you apologize for the inconvenience. There are obviously a million ways and businesses you can use to start a side hustle. Just look for opportunity and you'll find it. Thanks for watching guys and check out this video next.